In this video, we're going to be going over hot images. Hot images are images that can be created while Windows is still running without the need to boot to automation, whether it be Pixie or automation folders. It can be while the machine is up and running. Hot imaging is not supported on server OSs, only on workstation OSs. And the workstation OS has to support volume shadow copy. If the volume shadow copy service is not functional on the machine, the image will not be able to be created. A couple of things you could try is doing a reboot of the machine, double checking that there aren't any other tools that are locking the hard drive from being uh, modified and uh, suspending those or putting them on hold, whatever is necessary, and then trying to create the image again. So volume shadow copy is required for uh, hot imaging. So hot imaging is under our samples and we have hot imaging here. And I would encourage you to always make a copy of any of these built-in jobs, just that way you have them to work with. And we will just copy is fine. Basically what hot imaging does is it runs ghost from a command line to do so while Windows is still running. And it's going to then, we'll just break this down. So it's going to go and run from the ghost share in the Express Ghost Go 64 folder, it's going to run or Go 64 executable. It's going to run the clone command with a mode create and a source of drive one and a destination of the Go server share in the Express drive under the images folder in the Windows folder under computer name and then um, .gho and we're going to put a sure and a blind. So if we run into some issues, you could come in here and remove the blind so that Ghost would come up and be visible and allow you to help understand what maybe would be going wrong. But we'll go ahead and go with blind for now. Next. And uh, the other thing that's necessary is which account we'll be running this in. The account here is going to be just default, the local system account. But depending on how your security is configured, you may have to have a specific user in order to get to the network share. So we'll start with default. I believe that'll work in my environment, but if not, I'll put in my network administrator, uh, my domain administrative account, which has rights to my clients as well as to my ghost share. There we go. And we will go ahead and run this on the 18.0.3.0.2 machine. And we'll bring up this machine. can take a look at the job we are executing this script and if we look through we can see that go 64 is running so we know that uh, we wouldn't need to do this except for I'm trying to uh, show how we would troubleshoot it if it wasn't working we would make sure that each piece happens on the server we could go to our deployment server folder and our images and our windows and our machine name and here we go with uh, current time. Yep, and we are starting our creation. So because our image has started uh, executing and we are starting to create the file, I believe that this is going to work successfully. We just have to wait for it to finish. We'll check back here in a little bit and confirm that. OK, here we go. We can see that our uh, script execution is complete. And so now we can go and check that we have a hot image. Terrace Express deployment server and images windows and here is our machine and here is our image file. The volume shadow copy service is here and needs to be available to us in a manual state is okay because we are going to then be able to have it called to but if it is disabled that will be a problem. So make sure that uh, there's nothing impeding this from starting. Thank you very much for watching this video.